about the blowouts. This is something that has been very interesting this playoffs. You saw those numbers, 21 already. We've seen two 20-point blowouts just in this Eastern Conference Finals. What do you think the reasoning is behind that, Brendan? For me, I think it's because we have so many great defensive teams. You look at these last four teams that are left, we see a lot of – all four of these teams are top ten defensively, and they're able to get after you. On, on nights where they're getting after you and they're turning you over, they're getting easy points in transition, that's leading to me to some of these big leads and some of these teams getting out to 20, 25-point wins. And so, I, like, the defense has really been the calling card. And when you get deeper into the playoffs, you see a lot of uh, great defensive teams. And when they get the battle like that, sometimes it goes to be a little bit one-sided or lopsided. I totally agree, B. What I'll just add just a little bit on the offensive side, I think uh, the three-point shot. You have some guys that will come out and get hot. Mm -hmm. uh, we got hot. We might have took two or three in the first <laughs> quarter. I mean, oh. guys are taking five or six, and if you hit four or five of them in a row, another guy hit four or five of them, next thing you know, you can easily go and have a 15-point lead. So I think that and a lot of teams that we got a chance to see, like the Golden State Warriors, great defensive teams are saying, we're going to make this guy beat us. And like a Grant Williams the other day had, his night, you know, one of those nights where he hit everything. So I think they're saying, hey, we're going to live with a guy hitting those threes. You have that guy hitting three, and then your superstars hitting three. The league jumps up really quick. He took 18 threes. Could you imagine I, if they let you shoot 18 threes when you was playing? 18. Grant Williams took 18 threes in one game. I didn't get 18 free throws. <laughs>